We've heard a lot lately from Uber with changes to their app, things that they're doing uh, to adjust to AB5. Well, today we've got an announcement from Lyft. Yes, it's a new passenger mode called Lyft Preferred and it can pay some drivers a little bit extra money. In this video, I'm gonna share with you all the details about it. And then at the end of the video, if you stick around, I'm gonna tell you whether I think this is a good thing or a bad thing for drivers. Well, hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy saying good happy morning to you. So they say there's more than one way to skin a cat. And in this case, Lyft is looking for another way to become more profitable. And it's a new feature called Lyft Preferred. And so number one is, well, what is Lyft Preferred? So it's a kind it's kind of like Uber Comfort in that passengers can pay a little bit extra money and they're going to get a, an experienced driver who's got a high rating, who's got a car that's got a little bit extra leg room. But let's let me just share with you exactly what Lyft is saying about this right now. So here you, here you go, this is from Lyft. From your high rating to your car's extra leg room, you provide an elevated experience for your passengers, and now you can earn bonuses for it. Select drivers, like you, are now participating in a pilot of Lyft Preferred, a new type of ride for passengers who want to pay a little more for a newer car, a little more leg room, and a top driver. If you give a Lyft Preferred ride, you'll earn a bonus on top of your regular ride payment you'll be able to see if a ride is preferred before you tap accept. So number two, how do you qualify? Well, again, we're gonna look right here from the horse's mouth. This is from Lyft. You gotta be a driver with a rating of 4.9 or higher. You have to have at least 300 lifetime rides. That means you're like, you know, three weeks old. <laughs> a newer car, so 2014 or newer. 37 inches or more of leg room. No flags for an unclean vehicle in your last 20 rides. That means no passengers have said, you know, it's a messy car. Um, you'll need to be in one of the cities where we're testing Lyft Preferred. So those are the qualifications. Number three, what are the qualifying cities? So here you can see uh, Albuquerque, Atlanta, Charlotte, Cleveland, Columbus, Detroit, Houston, Jacksonville, Kansas City, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Miami, Oklahoma City, Ottawa, Portland, Salt Lake City, San Diego, San Francisco, all right, San Francisco, San Jose, Savannah, Seattle, Tampa, and Toronto. So if you're in one of those cities, you have a chance to be a Lyft preferred driver. Number four, you're gonna be sent an email right so that's how you're going to find out if you qualify so this is you know like everything going to be rolled out over time and if you get the email great then you're in the program and if you don't get an email uh, you're not in the program until you do get an email um, i did ask lyft you know can you give us a list, a list of cars and they didn't have that available so i don't know what cars qualify so here i am in my 2017 honda accord hybrid which is a uh, you know black nice interior does it have the leg room? I don't know, 37 inches. How do you measure 37 inches of leg room? I really don't know. So like you, I'm just gonna have to wait and, and hope you know, that I, I get the email because then I'm qualified and I can earn a little bit of extra money um, on the rides. So number five, let's compare this to Uber Comfort because that's the first uh, you know, uh, connection I made is this, wow, it sounds like Uber, Uber Comfort. So it is like Uber Comfort, um, in that you gotta you know, have the right kind of car for it and you gotta meet certain criteria to be on the list to get some Uber Comfort rides. But better than Uber Comfort, you don't have to follow any rules like being quiet or the temperature has to be cool or warm or you have to help them with the luggage. Of course, I always help people with the luggage, so that's not a big deal. But I, I like that you can just drive like normal and, uh, and you're gonna make a little bit of extra money. So the way it works is you're gonna get the ping. It's gonna tell you that it's a Lyft preferred ride. And then at the end of your ride, it's gonna tell you how much of a bonus you got on that particular ride. So all in all, I say this is a pretty good thing. So what are the key takeaways here? I say this is pretty good. I give it a, definitely a thumbs up. Um, smart on Lyft's part because they've got drivers out there. They're not spending any extra money. 
Um, I'm thinking of like airlines. You know how airlines charge for a little extra leg room? Well, Lyft is now realizing they can charge a little bit extra for the leg room. So uh, the drivers win, right? Because they're going to make a little bit of extra money. The passengers win because they're going to you know, pay for an extra little bit of service. They know they're going to get an experienced driver. And, and Lyft wins. So Lyft wins, the driver wins, and the passenger wins. It's a win-win-win. And, uh, and, and I like that. I like this very much. I hope I get chosen, and I look forward to driving some passengers uh, using the Lyft Preferred. I don't know how much extra money it's going to be. It might not be that much. We don't know. Still a lot of details to get worked out. But I got to give it to Lyft for seeing an opportunity and going for it. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, please subscribe. If you like the video, give it a like. That helps the algorithm. It gets more people to uh, be able to see the video. And uh, that would be awesome. This is Jay Crater. I am saying thank you very much for watching this video. Y'all go out and have a great day and be safe out there.